Big shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets. On this episode, we talk about the 13 and a half diamond, the meaning, the origins. We've discussed the 13 diamond before. Now let's break down the 13 and a half and we get into it on this episode of Demons Road TV. And no, oh yeah, we ghosting, baby. Shout to the ghosts and the ghost sets. Welcome to Demons Road TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Sos the Ghost. I'm your host for the evening. And today we're going to break down the 13 and a half diamond, the origins, what does it mean. We got a clip from Cliff, the national president of the Red Rum MC. He talks about creating it and all of that and we're gonna get deeper into that subject we've talked at length about diamonds and how crucial it can be depending on what territory you go to so we're gonna get into the origins of that 13 and a half diamond but also we're gonna discuss repercussions that possibly if you're in the wrong territory what could happen but the first thing I want you to do like we always do on this channel is to hit me with that pound Ghosting, and that lets me know you're alive and well, sitting on twos, doing what you do, or just part of the Demons Road community. One of my ghosts. Big shout to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the row. Make sure you hit that bell so you get the notification. Hit the like button if you want to support the show. We got the ghosting neckline shirts out right now, so get those and let's break down this 13 and a half diamond now before we get into the clip we have broke down the 13 diamond origins i just wanted to say that when i did that video check that video out we broke down where the diamond 13 started but there are multiple reasons why different clubs wear it be it mother charter be it spelling out the name of your club be it certain things that i can't talk about involving prison politics and stuff like that so that's why it's not mentioned in that video so i just wanted to let that be known that sometimes there's certain things where you can't go too far and talk about and and you know i've heard people talk about you can't learn anything here and it's the same people that's trying to teach someone here so that doesn't make any sense to me at all like the same people that are trying to teach something are saying that you can't believe anybody or learn anything you can learn you can learn from a baby you know what i'm saying so don't let people think that you can't learn something by watching something do you have to experience stuff yes of course you do you have to live the life to understand things you have to go through things to understand why people go so hard for certain patches or whatever they do it's, it's not just simple as black and white or just straight up negativity sometimes it runs deeper than that has to do with things that happened in the past between people that are still around and it, it, it escalates you know so let's get into this clip real quick of cliff the national president of the red rum mc breaking down the 13 and a half diamond so did you have a crew of people that you grew up with and that's how you started red rum or um I, well my, my youngest brother um who was uh riding at the time and he was in, in lod um at the time and so you know i rolled with him um and then so uh lod was sort of like um and, you know i always look at it as like you know some of the brothers there are like you know it's like our, our race bike um you know partner you know brother club like, yeah you know yeah, we had, yeah. you know yeah because you you i always say you if you don't acknowledge where you came from then you don't know where you're going yes. you know and so we give you know mad props to our brothers in lod because 
um, Red Rum was formed from LOD, you know, so me and my brother, we started a Nomad chapter at LOD, and then from LOD, we, 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 we moved off and started Red Rum. So the 13 and a half um, originally was, you know, I, I came up with that concept, and we were the first ones to put 13 and a half in a diamond on a, on a vest. I didn't come up with the concept of 13 and a half, that had been around a long time, but, you know, I had the mindset of saying, hey man, I want to put that on a vest, you know, because I believe in that philosophy. Um, so you created the 13 and a half diamond? Because I know there was a the 13, the, right, but thir you created the, the 13 and a half. The diamond on a, on a vest, yeah. Okay. And so I created that and, and LOD, even to this day, still uses it. And then we took it, you know, I, I gave it to LOD, the leadership of the club, which I was part of. Um, dug it and then so then we uh, you know so when we we branched off and started red rum we took the you know the diamond and put it put it on on us so i, I introduced that to lod probably i would say 2005 or 2000 yeah maybe so i know like when one percent clubs like new one percent clubs come out and and once you know, one of the bigger clubs sees they got that diamond, automatically it's an issue. Was it an issue in the beginning with the 13 and a half or were the relationships already there? Or? It's an issue to this day. When we start new chapters, it's an issue to this day. You know, I discourage any club that's not built for conversation and for standing up with what they believe um, in, not in a physical way, but in in a way that they can converse in, 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 in you know, with the sentiment of of, uh, uh, of of believing in what you're putting out, you know, yeah. because it, it, you know, it, you put a diamond on, you better have a, a good reason for it and a good. So, you know, for us, um, when we when we speak to, and especially when there's new places that we're we're, we're starting chapters in, it's a conversation, man, because you're putting a diamond on. Yeah. And and a lot of guys have given their lives up for these diamonds. So the reason that I want to review this is because I have people that tell me, well. You know, you said never to throw on a diamond, but they threw on a 13 and a half. There's already a 13. Listen, you have to understand the footwork it takes, the numbers, the people you got to know, the connections to sit down and be able to put on a diamond patch. He said it in the clip that there's certain places where it's just not going to happen. You know, so you have to understand him just saying that shows you how serious it could be this is a worldwide club right here so and this is and this applies to any club like you can't just go anywhere you want and wear anything you want and if you're a club that does that that's how the wars start that's where the wars begin is that mentality and that's what makes an outlaw club or that's what makes a one percent club they they don't ask permission from other clubs for stuff like that and I want people to know that when I'm saying not to throw on a diamond, I'm talking about people that are not in a club and they just see it online. They go on Wish, they go on wherever. They're at an event because they sell these things at Daytona, Sturgis, all that. You know, you could purchase it there, you know, in a regular shop that has patches. So when I say don't mess with the diamonds, it's for the people that don't understand. If you're in the culture, you know that these diamonds are no joke and the repercussions that come with it so if you have any questions let me know in the comments and thank you for tuning in to demons road tv the holy grail of mc culture like subscribe and comment and know yeah we ghosting baby